Hello everyone, my name is Lucas Pinheiro. I'll be sharing with you guys some cool technique that I really love to do. And uh, I'll be breaking down the technique for you guys to understand it better. Uh, the, the way how I pass uh, the guard. Let's say you're gonna do the double pull guard and we end up here, right? Most of the time they're gonna try to control the collar uh, like this. And if you guys see like every time on my opponent control the collar, my goal is always change the angle. Okay, let's say he control my uh, right side of my collar. I will start to move to my left side. And it just feel guys understand if you guys see like what I do is he pull me to the to the guard. All right, he's gonna keep one leg on the ground and one leg uh, off the ground. Okay, that side that my opponent had his leg off the ground, that's the side to me to start to lift my leg up. I'll be like this, I'll be sitting on my heels. You see? Now he control my collar. And I will change my angle and I will use my shoulder against his elbow like this. And I'm gonna tuck my chin down. This way. Because now he cannot do like a uh, choke or stuff like that. And now what he's gonna do is, I will catch his pants, the end of the pants. I can grab inside, this is the regular grip, or I can go under and they uh, control the opposite leg, okay? And now from here, I will start to use my shoulder against his elbow and against his knee. I'll be like this way. I'll be in the plank position. I'll be heavy on his knee, okay? Now, before I, move, before I move to my side, I have to uh, flatten his back on the ground, like this. Why? Because once I do that, I'm 100% sure that he's going to use his elbow to set it up again, to push me away. And then he's going to uh, give me this angle to control his collar. And then that's what I want. If I try go right away here, he can use his hand uh, to protect his collar before, uh, before I uh, flat his back on the ground. But if I do this first, he has to push me away. And the only way for him is use the elbow. Now I can control the collar, you see? Now from here, I will pull his bottom leg off the ground and I will start to move to the side, okay? And then right after that, he only way, the only way for him to recover his guard is bring his, this leg uh, up like this, okay? Sometimes it's like, if, they, if my opponent is too flexible, he will like take this leg off and start to bring his leg over like this. And if that happens, my goal is back up. Now I will place my head right uh, on the middle of his belly like this. And I will pass. Now I can finish like that, okay? Let's say one more time, he pull into his guard and I'll be here. If I grab his, the same thing. I lean forward, I grab the collar, I make him fall to his side, he's gonna bring his leg over and I'll be like this way. You see, he's gonna go like uh, upside down. Now I will back up. As I start pushing his leg down, at the same time, I will bring his, uh, upper body off the ground with my right hand like this and I went up here okay last one let me do the other side let's say if he's changing the angle I will change my angle I can go under I can go over okay the, the main goal here after I grab the pants it's to flat my opponent's back on the ground and I move to the side you bring the leg over and I'll be here you see I'll be on the plank position and then finish in the side control okay I hope you guys enjoy the technique that's the way that I like to pass when my opponent is flexible and uh, it's a, a very uh, powerful position to pass and I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.